DDMRP process in S4 HANA. So there would be uh, core five uh, components in S4 HANA for DDMRP. First, we need to strategic decouple that which point, which place we want to uh, decouple and put the buffer stocks. So wherever you will be putting the buffer stock, actually from your forecast planning, it will get decoupled. Okay, decoupling is important and how the decoupling would be important and what would be the decoupling lead time, we would be discussing in the next ones. Buffer profiles and levels. So buffer profiles, also we need to define it, the levels we need to define it. We need to do the dynamic adjustment and then we would be calculating based on the demand driven planning. So if, if I uh, talk about the steps, these would be the steps. Okay. So what kind of things will be we are going to do? So consider these steps. So first thing we are going to do, the first step in the DDMRP would be the material classification. With the material classification, this would be separating your oranges from the apples and from the mangoes. It's not like a hard jaga PD, 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 or VB, this kind of material VB. So there would be a classification. There should be a classification. So I told you that the initial 15, 20 materials, you will get it verbally itself from the supply chain. But if you want to proceed ahead from there, which other materials we need to plant as a D1 or which other materials is good for the VB also, which materials for the PD, you should be checking it based on the classification of the material, based on the material variability, based on the material usability, based on the lead time and based on the price consumption value that how much of the price it has. Based on these parameters, you would be able to decide which material should fall, where it will be maintaining the buffered stocks. It will make sense for us. Okay. Where the fluctuation, how, how is the fluctuation? Fluctuations are high or low. Usability, whether one raw material is linked with the 100 FGs, usability would be high. Lead time, lead time is, uh, you can mention if the lead time is more than 10 days, the lead time would also be high. Higher the lead time, higher the chances of getting delayed would be there. Price consumption value, the values which is uh, which comes in your top 20, which is a very high level item, high value item. So if you're getting high, 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 everywhere it's high, then it would become a critical material. It's a high lead time, value is also high. Its usability is high, it's using used into the multiple materials um, and it's also have a demand fluctuation. Right, so it becomes all high. It means that we need not to plan as a normal planning. We need to plan as a DDMRP. So this would be application. Okay, material classification would be application, which will be running based on the batch job. And then it would be classifying our material based on medium, low, high, that wherever the, for a particular material where the variability is high or low, usability is high or low, lead time is high or low, and price comparison value also, whether it's a high value item, low value item. And based on these four parameters, your business would be able to make a decision. What kind of logic should be used? Shall we go ahead with PD or we should go ahead with the uh, uh, VB or D1? You would be able to. So after learning this bad job, you will be getting the values. These values you would be able to analyze. You would be able to do the analyze from here. You would be selecting the mass, okay, this 50, 100 materials you will be selecting based on the analysis and you will do the change MRP. This would be happening from the single application, material classification application. It can happen, all the activities can happen and you will be defining whether PD, VB or D1. It is not that we will be going into the MM02. You can also go into the MM02 and you can define your MRP type, but that is we directly define it. We don't have any tool to identify on what basis we define VB, what basis we define PD, or what basis we define D1. So this material classification application would be very important application. Not only for DDMRP, it can also suffice a lot of business requirement which is having to classify their materials to so that business understand more that what, what kind of different things can be done for different materials. This application would be helping. First step to classify your material and maintaining which material is required for a D1.